Hey guys and welcome to my first uh, Vegas and Photoshop combined tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create basically a top plays um, intro uh, using Vegas and Photoshop. So let's get started. So first of all I'm going to open up my Photoshop. It takes a bit a minute here so just uh, give me some time. Yeah so basically you have to use Vegas and Photoshop to do this um, and I'll show you how to do it in a minute once this opens up so yeah basically what you want to be doing here is making it widescreen so I'll show you what the resolutions are in a minute for that right so it should be opening up now yeah here we go right so first of all if you don't know how to make a new document you probably should but I'll just take you through it anyway go to file up here in the top left and go to new or control n on your keyboard uh, and inches what you want is 16 by 9. If you don't know how to get inches, just go down to this drop down menu here and click inches. So there you go, that's it there. And then click OK. And then it could, uh, it should, sorry, come up with this blank white document here, like a canvas. And I'm just going to quickly create a background. You can do whatever you like, I just, it's just for quickness. So, yeah, basically just for quickness, I'm just going to do that and then put a blur on it so put a motion blur yeah it don't look too great but it'll do take your time on it it'll look better if you take your time so yeah as I say take your time and it'll look a lot better right so now what you want to do is bring up your text box which is on the left hand column here on the left side and it'll be the big the capital T and then bring it out into your document and click uh, left click sorry and it should come up with this little thing here what I'm going to do is type in JKB Gaming um, and go down and type in top 5 plays oh that's a question mark top 5 plays yeah and then drag it in the middle here you can't see it but I'll change the colour and I'll change it to black yeah there we go um, it looks a lot better and then I'll bring it out to there yeah so go down to your layers here in the bottom right and click on this and it should come up in layer one your the title basically of what you've got here double click on this and just basically it'll bring up this layer style box there's another way of doing it as well but this is the this is where I do it so yeah if you want to just follow it this way uh, I just like to add a few things to my text like I like to drop a shadow on it to give it that little like coming out of the page look and put an outer glow on it so and I like to go to the size here and bring it out a little bit, I think it gives it that little edge and then I just click OK, I'm not going to do anything fancy here but you can go into more detail with beveling and embossing and stuff like that but I'm just going to keep it like this just for simplicity really click OK uh, that's not in the middle so just if you want to edit just click on it again and then click back on here and that should be it now what you want to do is get your 1 to 5 uh, if it's going to be a top 5 place which mines is which JKB Games is so you want to go out of here and do the same as what you done with JKB Gaming, top 5 plays. Just click on the canvas. I'm going to type in 1. And I'm going to put this right at the top of the JKB Gaming. I'm going to place them around it. So basically just keep doing this. And then I'm just going to keep like that just for simplicity. But you can do the outer glow and stuff. So 2, 3, so on, so forth. Uh, just let, give me a second to do this. I'm also going to be doing shout outs. So if you want. Uh, to be included in a shout out at the end of the video well not the end of this video, just do a random shout out but um, you yeah, send me a personal message on JKB Gaming and tell me why I should give you a shout out and um, yeah that's pretty much it so you got your 1 to 5, it's not perfect, it's not centered but I'll do just to show you how, take more time on it right um, so that's basically the bit for the Photoshop so just save this, go to file, save as I'm just going to save it to desktop just now. Just save it as um, background. One. Yeah, and then save the format as JPEG. And then just go to save. And uh, take the quality up to 12, so that's maximum. Uh, I'll take the file size up a bit, but it doesn't really matter. Then click OK. Right, exit your Photoshop save it, you're probably better to save it, but this is just for quickness, so open up your Vegas, I've got a uh, Pro 8.0 uh, I don't know what you'll have, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think 
Uh, I'm not very sure about the other versions. I'm very sure about this one though, so yeah, just go me on this. Right, once this opens up, I'll show you what to do. Right, oh, it's going to open up with template. I've got that. Right, anyway, so what you want to do is create a new document, same as last time. Um, keep all the original settings here and click OK. It should come up with this blank document. I have a different setup probably from you, but if you watch a few tutorials, I think I watched Kareem the Dreams. Not very sure, I'll put a link in the description to, sh uh, to the page that I found this on. Uh, this layout. So basically, what you want to do is go up here to open or click Control uh, O on your keyboard, and your um, what you want to do is go and find your find your file. There's mine there, and open it. So here it will be, in, and I'm just going to make it 15 seconds long, just to just to show basically. So there it is there basically, and it will be in your preview box. Uh, so what you want to do is go to Event Pancrop on the file here and uh, in the timeline um, I'm just gonna basically right if you don't know what keyframing is this is a, this is the shout out that I'll be given it's to Montagical it's a channel with two people um, and basically they do tutorials like this and they do tutorials on keyframing which is on this timeline down here and uh, if you don't know how to keyframe you probably be better to go watch that video first so I'll put the link in the description for that but I'm gonna show you this anyway uh, just quickly so what I want you to do is basically go to the second one here and create a new keyframe by clicking this one here and it should come up and you have lock aspect ratio on and take it to the corner and basically zoom in to the one and that should be basically that will run through from from that to that but we'll zoom into it and uh, two seconds later at four seconds what you want to do is move it to the two so then it'll zoom across to the two and then at six seconds what you want to be doing is going down to the three and so on and so forth right around to the four so I'll just quickly do this give me a second um, to the five here and then what I like to do is go to the JKB gaming and if there are two seconds and just bring it out so you can see the whole thing and then bring it down center it yeah so there you are there and then just just about the end of the video what you want to do is bring it back and right click on on the project here and restore so it'll bring it back to what you had at the start so basically to run through it you've got that keyframe then at the one then the two then the three and then the four five so on then the jkb game then it'll spread back out into that so let's have a little look at this I'll start it play it See if it works. Hopefully it does. It's slow, but if you want, make the keyframes closer together and make the video shorter to make it go quicker, basically. And then I'll go to JKB Gaming and it should come out. Yeah, and add a bit of music to that and whatever you like. Um, so basically, guys, that's it.